everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Part 20, Big 2-0. Last time, um, you know, I mean, uh, you would think I remember, I know we did the, the underground thing, where we did the Nankano Underpass, which is where I think we're supposed to be going back to now? I think I just came into the Digilab to, uh, to look at some stuff. I don't exactly remember. Um, coming off from a bit of a break, you know, ate lunch between now and the last video. So it's probably been about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe. Because we're still doing, yeah, this case. The Nankano Underground. You want us to go back there? Right? Okay. No, don't actually tell me where to go. I believe we're just supposed to go back, which is kind of weird because they teleported us out and made us come back, but then they're like, uh, go right back. Oh, never mind, we can go to the Tokyo Metropolitan Office. Since it's new, I guess we go there. You must be confused. Let me explain. Construction on the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Office isn't entirely complete as of yet. Uh, that's because we're still putting the secret government torture facilities in. Well, it was at one point, that is, until a major firm came in and decided the upper floors mirrored an additional construction for their secret government torture, torture floors. Torture. Torture isn't nearly as scary of a word as, uh, torture. Granted, also, torture is not a word, it is just, uh, some crazy noise my mouth created because it cannot speak English properly. <laughs> Did you make it inside the office? Alright, I get you. So, they're alright with you hanging around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier. Go on in. Wish I was there to see it myself. Seems like quite the sight. It reminds me of the Tower of Babel in a way. Hmm, guess I'm starting to ramble again. Yeah, you're really babbling. <laughs> get, get it? It's, it was... Absolutely, the answer is Digilon. Don't ever doubt me. Anybody got anything important to say? Okay, so there's our thingy over there. I guess we'll, we'll kind of talk to some people first, you know? Take a, take a bit of a breather. What does old man have to say? A new city hall in Rapungi. Wouldn't have expected that in my wildest dreams. Seems like anything can happen with Kami Shiro back in it. Not that I should expect any less from a company like that. Any, uh, medals? Any metal fans? No? No medals? None whatsoever. Got anything to say, old lonely man? No? Okay, let's go. This shift is weak, while still prominent enough for you to notice, it could be a sign this place will turn into a labyrinth later on. Okay, jump into it. Alright, let's go. Did we heal up while we were in the digital lab? Oh yeah, I remember what I did, is I put a Quillamon in the farm to raise camaraderie. And in the meantime, we have Angemon for no real reason. He was just the first eight memory uh, person I slotted over. Wait, I thought that led around to the item. Whoops. Ikuzomina! Looking like there's not any new enemies. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't know why that always makes you giggle. Get eviscerated. You shall also be eviscerated.
bug recovery. Now that we know there can actually be like rare and useful items in chests, it's like I feel like I have to check every one, but it's really underwhelming when it's just like, here's 400 yen worth of items. Smack me in the face. That's highly rude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Mental break. That just lowers intelligence. I forgot we had this. Um, yeah, lowers intelligence. Chance of it, that's probably... Hmm. Yeah, probably better than, uh... Because we have items that do these, so... Not really too much of a use there. I haven't even looked. Does, does anybody else have, like, extra skills? You have Hellcrusher. That's just a worse darkness wave. A shining laser. It's just an AoE attack. And then you have. Oh, you have several things. Neutral damage absorbs 10% of the damage as SP. Nightmare 2 seems good. Well, I guess it's just straight up worse than Destruction Cannon. There's, a, there's an eater just chilling over there. Like, can we talk to it? Hello. How's it going? Okay. Never mind. It is not talking time. Get panicked. He's probably gonna be immune. Well, especially when you, you know, miss. Okay, he is, uh, very, very tough. Very, very strong. Probably switching someone else. Who do we want? I guess Cora Dramond, yeah. Not good. He seems like he has a little bit less HP, maybe, than the other one we fought. Granted, we have less overall damage coming out since we don't have a dude backing us up. Combo, good combo. Lowered his int too, so it's gonna do. Oh yeah, there's some damage, and we even may well we maybe get a mirror loss. Nothing's guaranteed. Oh, ho, ho, you absolute fool! Trying to step to us. I guess technically we stepped to him. He was just kind of minding his own business. And... Finish him, Zudomon. This, yeah, that, oh. I mean, it's a 95. There's no way you miss. I refuse to believe it. I think Corridormon needs, like, two more levels before he has enough speed. And we could use one of our items to just give him the XP needed in the levels, but I don't know if I want to use those or not. Actually, you know what, I think we will go ahead and do that. The fact that there was an eater inside the terminal at all is big evidence in and of itself. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll, well, okay. It's probably hard work going all over the place today, but thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. Uh, while you were out and about, I decided to measure the digital waves coming out of that building. I found out that the Metropolitan Office is, is, is in itself one big digital wave force field. So, like, Kamishiro is, like, mega evil at this point, right? So that underground lab Kimishiro has beneath the building is probably controlling the energy flow. Remember what I said about ley lines when they were inside when we, you were inside that tunnel, don't you? Yeah, you talked for about 45 minutes about them. There are two things at play here: the natural energy flow from the Earth along the ley lines and digital waves emanating from a sea of electrons. Why do you need to do it that way? Well, for one, digital waves might be invisible to the naked eye, but they have a mass and therefore require a vessel. And the bigger the vessel is that contains those waves, the more energy you can build up. But why is the real question. Why do all this? That extra energy would then go on to impact the office beyond the facility, hence the digital shift you ran into, into in the lobby. And with any good digital shift comes an eater, of course. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that place goes uh, labyrinthine eventually. On the other hand, it's worrying in its own way that things resolve so cleanly this time. The fact that digital waves can be concentrated in such small quality, in such small, yeah, small qualities, as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro labyrinth is scary. If you hadn't been there, it might well not have been caught up until much later. That whole thing doesn't sit well with me at all. The deliberate and calculated nature of it all indicates that somebody's got big plans in the works, suffice it to say. This of course calls for more investigating. We need to figure out how long exactly this has all been going on and what exactly it's for. Okay. Are we finally done with this chapter? We've been on chapter 6 for like a thousand years. Oh, we got two cases. Ranked up. Your drive is really admirable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Corridormon, what do you need? You still need three speed. Which means you probably need at least three levels. I mean, we got the items, we may as well use them. Do we need to use a- we'll just use a small one first. Okay, that only gives one level. So I guess we will use a- well... We'll use a big one. Okay, there he goes. He's got the speed now. I, mean, I don't know what we want to make him. Because we got two options. We got that thingy that thing. I think I've seen several guys can evolve into this. I haven't seen anything that looks like it can evolve into this, so we will go with this one. And it has the higher stat requirements, so maybe it's better. That's how it's supposed to work, right? Oh my god. That was like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. <laughs> Wing Dramon. Dude, he's got like some fucking Dragon Balls. Hell yeah. Blaze Sonic Breath and increases speed, and his passive increases speed and damage dealt with wind skills by 10. Okay. Well, we do need to uh, get old Anjumon out of there. I think that's pretty much the only guy who can evolve right now. We got several guys that are close to evolving, but you, you can evolve into different stuff. Dude, that thing was kind of cool. So Quillamon just needs the one more level. I think I think we're gonna try and yeah, this thingy. I think it's like is it Griffinmon or something? I feel like I've seen that thing before, but don't uh don't hold me to that. I wanted to do something and I cannot remember now. Hmm. Do we need to heal? I guess we could heal. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. We need to put a. Uh, we only have two empty space. I thought maybe we had. 
enough memory to put like a basic level Digimon in the party to get some more XP going. You got a case for me, lady? Like, what am I doing? Ah, oh, I'm just going to the K Cafe. Give me a uh, 45 yen for my medals. 590? What kind of rip off is this shit? Oh! We got. Wait, were those just like regular weak ass HP medals? Do you get scared? Absolutely not. Okay, they are. Okay, they're at least they're super ones. I was like, are those just the basic ass ones that cost like 100 yen? That's insulting, but at least they're the full heal versions. Oh, there we go. Uh, who the hell is this man? Hmm, let me see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, what? What are you doing here? Yo, he stole our look, man. We can't wear that. That's our look. Oh, I see. You're the Cyber Sleuth. The office is around here, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Cyber Sleuth. So, Cyber Sleuth to take on any case at all, then. Was this the Jimmykin guy with the girl? Is that who this guy is? In that case, can I send a request to your office? Okay, that's settled. I'm gonna send in a request to your office and watch you work. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Three new cases. So more more fetch quests. So work, work, work. I want an easy job with lots of money. I'm sure as hell ain't this shit. Why did we have to come back up here? You took my case, thanks! Still, that woman you work with, Kyoko, is that her name? She's, uh, kinda weird. When I went into the office to submit my request, she said something weird. I'm getting nasty, a nasty vibe coming from you. And she even said, it's like the detestable aura of a male pursuing a female. I mean, what the hell is that about? <sighs> you try and send in a serious request, and this is what you get. But Kyoko is really pretty, and she seems like a nice person. When I was in the office, she asked me if I wanted some fresh coffee, but I said I didn't have the time. <laughs> she was trying to poison him. Oh yeah, the case. I forgot. Uh, to be honest, I need money at the moment. Like, lots and lots of money. I was trying to find a part-time job, but I picked so I could pick up a little extra spending money. Well, sure as hell don't become a cyber sleuth, because you work all day and you get $7. Alright, I need to pay a fee if I'm sending an official request to a detective agency. If there's a job in Eden, you and that girl would know a lot about it, right? Yeah, that's right. What I'm looking for is a part-time job in Eden. Those are usually the easiest ones. Three options to choose from. I don't mind if they're shady. Hmm, he wants us to look for a part-time job for him. That's a pretty easy request. All the same, I say it's a good case for you. Why don't you handle it? Lady, you gotta, you gotta get up and move. You can't stay behind that desk forever. I'm sure, if we ask uh, some of those kind of people here in Nanaka, Nakano, we'll find some. Okay. So just talk to people. Got it. Maybe we want to hit up all the various. Let's see, no, you do not. Let's try this man. You got any part-time jobs? No. Okay. Got any part-time jobs at the CD shop? What the hell am I supposed to be doing? 
They did say in Nakana, right? Or was I supposed to go to Eden? Find three Broadway jobs, so that is definitely around here. You got any jobs? Any jobs in the women's restroom? No? The rarest metal. Bud Bond, that does not sound very rare. Any, any jobs at the fantasy? Hell yeah, give me a job! What? Looking for a part time job in Eden! Not just that, but a nice, easy, well paid job, too! In that case, I got good news for you. I got the perfect job for you. For this job, you need to wash some uh, stuff pricked in, pickled in formaldehyde. It couldn't be easier. Yeah, it's just a uh, uh, the brain of my business rival who I murdered. <laughs> if you want to uh, feel freaked out and disgusted, work in underground rooms and hospitals at night. Be terrified all the time. Then be my guest. Okay. Um. I feel like I need to report that man to the police. You got any jobs at the best takoyaki in the universe? No. Any jobs? Got any, got any jobs? Alright, then I'll introduce you to the job. It's as easy as anyone can do it. Take pictures of ghosts. You need a photo of a ghost? I'll pay you the big bucks. Okay. Maybe the coffee shop? would like to provide this young man with a job. Any jobs? No? Maybe Metal Man has got a job? Yo, show me your collection. Dude, there's so many. Is it in good? Oh, I remember that thing. That looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Uh, any jobs? Job? Job, job, jobs? Hmm. Let's make sure we fully explored here. Ah, here we go. You can work in Eden, that's a nice, easy, part-time job. Room laundering? One way or another, people die. You just have to live in one of those so-called rooms in the Shady History for three months. Ah... Uh, you aren't squeamish. Okay. That sounds like the best one. Let me guess, he doesn't want any of those? That's all just urban legends, though. It doesn't have anything to do with Eden. This ghost picture thing sounds good. That's like the hardest one. What do you mean I have want to? If I want to earn, why do I want to earn money from a part-time job in the first place? It's none of your business. Let me guess. He wants concerts to Jimmy Ken to take this chick. That's gonna be my. Well, he wants tickets to the concert. That's gonna be my guess. Something like that. It's definitely to impress this chick. Nothing. It's nothing. Yoda, are you by any chance talking about doing anything strange? Huh? I mean, uh, the only strange thing lately has been you. You're always talking so carelessly. Come on, there's no point talking to you. Come on, Cheesy, let's go. Take me to client. Yeah, we stole your boyfriend. What of it? <laughs> I knew you'd come. <laughs> okay, that's, uh... How did I know it's after my spiritual powers? I want you to look into a ghost. The white boy, who has been appearing and disappearing around Kowloon recently. I'd like you guys to take a photo of this white boy. If you take a good picture, I'll pay you the big money for it. Not bad. You think it's strange you can take a photo of a ghost in this digital space with a digital camera? Well, I mean, I suppose if you think about it, it's very appearance of a ghost in digital space is in, a, in and itself strange. Accept it, it's reality. Stop pretending you haven't seen them. Firstly, did you know that more than 70% of the people in the world have seen ghosts? That's a I'm, doubt. I doubt that. It all started with the incident at Roswell. The government and the aliens are all connected. They're just covering it up. Blah, 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 blah. Cattle mutilation, flying humanoids, and even animals falling from the sky. They're all part of the same conspiracy. 
there's no analog or digital in the occult, please get this rumored specter on camera. I was wondering what this had to do with the main story. The white boy. I'm a bit scared to go now, it sounds pretty terrifying. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it for you. Yo, what if I want some books? It's rude. Well, why is there only an escalator that's one way? Doesn't make any sense. Well, give me the rarest metal. Drachmon. Not rare. No rest, actually. You must work. You must always work. You must find me more fetch quests that I can do off screen. Come on. Ebby, I have no clue what that is. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, we're going to Eden. Dummy. Come on. You must give me a Suramon. That sounds interesting. To Eden we go. So wait, where in Eden are we going? I know they said Kowloon, but where? There's many Kowloons. You think it's Kowloon level 4 finally? Yes, it is. In the end! It will actually be a good thing if this white boy appears. Let's hang around. Okay, I'm hanging. Okay, never mind. We still cannot go to Kowloon level 4. Dude, look at him, he's like freaking flying like a jet. Costs some money, and yeah, it's not exactly safe, but the thrill is something else. What am I doing? Ghost Kowloon level 3. I mean, do I actually just. I guess we're supposed to go actually into the dungeon. There's people here. These guys weren't here earlier. Hello? Yeah, right. This ghost, the supposed white boy rumors? Yeah, I heard about him. Ghosts do appear in Eden, but this is a hyper-realistic virtual world, so they can appear even here. Well, I wonder why is there any such thing as spirit- if there is any such thing. A spiritual power. Okay. I mean, I guess we just want to go straight, maybe towards the exit? Oh, they're blocking us. Are they blocking us too? Oh, uh, they are. Even though it's very clearly a large opening. What do you got? You got a uh, Blaze of Sonic Breath. Holy shit, dude. Just murdered that man. Ended his whole career. I still like Zudomon's little running animation. go yeah this way I think what do you got for me huh looking for a ghost uh, it's about that white boy I heard about recently right yeah I think anyone who gets all flustered by things like that is a real idiot okay this is the digital world the real world is a different story but that doesn't mean the ghost can appear here you gotta be th gotta think calmly about this you won't be able to find them because there is no such thing that's what you say I suppose there is no such thing as a ghost you will never find a ghost like this, not even the faintest trace. Let's go back to doing... Let's stage a picture. Hell yeah, dude. No, room laundry. Pickled stuff. Okay, fine, let's cheat. 
That's a good idea, actually. That stupid old man should be easy to trick. Okay, so it's gonna be the classic, they try and stage a picture of a ghost, and then they end up capturing a real picture of a ghost. No, oh, do it more ghost-like. More like a ghost. Remember, you've done things in life that you regret. There are people alive with whom you have unfinished business. That kind of thing. It's the ghost. Hey, what are you doing? Ghost. Huh? Well, there's nothing here. Well, typically he shows up when an eater attacks, so we might want to get out of here. Hey, quick, take a picture! Take the camera! Get the camera! <laughs> oh, so let me get this straight. You couldn't get a photo of the white boys? You decided to fake the picture? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Even so, this picture... An elementary school kid could have taken a better picture than this. In the end, we'll have to reject the case. What? No way! Cheesy and me would put everything we had into this one! Did we really, though? Please burn that picture. <laughs> Terror basically arises from the human imagination. Oh god. She's gonna go off again. At least we got her out from behind the desk, even though she's still sitting down. Anything looks like a face from the right angle. This is how you stimulate a person's imagination with a photograph. This That is the key technique in ghost photography. Yeah, 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 you need to lie. Got it. What's wrong? Looks like this camera took a photo. Ooh, did he put a ghost picture in it? But... Yo, this is a real ghost photo! Let's go take a look at the... take a... Uh, okay. Do we not get to see it? 90% of... actually 100% of ghost photos we take. I never thought this would be part of the 10% that are real. I think I am the one in the photo. Huh? You? I was worried about Ryoto, so I followed him to Kowloon. I was trying to watch him from the shadows, but I must have slipped into the frame. Hmm, I wonder if there is a connection between you and Ryoto's actions. My birthday's coming up soon. I see, so that's why you needed the money. He needed money to buy me a present, so he was looking for a job where he could make a lot in a short space of time. He shouldn't have tried to buy me a present that present that he couldn't afford. Okay. Try buy a pre okay, that's basically what I thought. I thought it was gonna be something specific, like the Jimmykin concert tickets or something. Something related to Jimmykin, because she is definitely a member of his cult. Is there someone else you're in love with? Cool. Well, we're gonna go ahead and end the video because in case we uh if we turn that in, it might trigger a cutscene or something. Because I feel like this chapter's got to be close to being over. We've been on chapter six for like five videos. But I'm extra easy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.